Um, we had, um, in years past, the last uh, seven years, we have had a Saturday through Friday film showing schedule followed by the Saturday award show. This year, we did something special. Uh, earlier today, we had the showing of a film called Chelsea's Light. Uh, a young filmmaker who lost his sister to tragedy um, used film to get that out of his, you know, process it through his system. Not only that, but then use that film as a way to talk to people about the problem that is in society and start dialogue about how we can get that problem solved. Um, and uh, we had uh, a wonderful attendance, lots of people. Uh, I understand that it will be showing several more times in the, in the vicinity um, in, over the coming months. So if you haven't had an opportunity to see it, chelseaslight.org is a website to go to to learn a little bit more about it. And I think that they have their schedule on it. However, uh, the key thing I wanted to mention, not just to promote that there was a particular film, but what this film meant, the power of filmmaking in moving society. Uh, it, it's, it's a thing that we, uh, that we have the most powerful medium of anybody because we can elicit any kind of emotion that, we, that, that is needed with film. And now, with the internet, you can put that film in front of everybody and they can all be watching it while they're on the train. So it's phenomenal what we can do today about getting the word out and being activists. And of course, legislators use those, uh, those tools as well if they have those tools given to them by us so that they have more ammo to be able to push these laws through. Chelsea's Light is uh, 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 um, uh, one uh, facet, I guess, of a whole effort of creating what's called Chelsea's Law. And Chelsea's Law is enacted in California already, and it's being in considered in several states, uh, including ours. Um, and uh, during our presentation earlier today, we had a dignitary with us, and she got a, uh, a, uh, an opportunity to talk with us uh, during the Q&A. And I would ask that she would come back up again and talk with us again. Uh, Illinois House of Representative Darlene Singer. Thank you, thank you, yes, and, and I was here earlier, earlier tonight, it was five o'clock when we did the debut of Chelsea's Light, and just wanted to share a little bit of, of um, what I've been working on at Chelsea. Chelsea and my daughter Michelle were um, good buddies through elementary school. There were three of them that hung out all the time, so this was something that, that hit home much so when we heard what was going on. They moved to California her junior year, and the dad, Brent, came back, they came back to Naperville. Uh, wanted to be back where they felt comfortable and embraced, so they moved back to Naperville. And when they moved back to Naperville, he reached out to me and he said, would you help craft some legislation, which would be similar to what happened, what passed in California, it was Chelsea's Law in California, and in Illinois, and I said, oh, of course, no, no question whatsoever. And what the law was asking us to do was basically saying if you were a um, sex offender who committed murder, once, that's it, you stay in jail, you don't get out. And what had happened in this case, it was a sex offender who had committed murder already five years pre previously and then murdered Chelsea. So that's, how, that's the law that got passed in California in rapid time, seven months. So I crafted the legislation, um, they came back here and they said, we pause, we're, we're not ready to go through this again. So I said, fine, last year we were thinking about um, bringing it forward and then the sun was brilliant put this film together. The film is super powerful. And we were talking today about how I can see this be the wave of the future for passing legislation. No more emails, no more, well, it's still have emails, you know, and all the other stuff that goes with it. But this is a very, very powerful tool. And I hope they, I, and I committed to them that I would not only help it try to get through um, Springfield, but now I'm on the ballot for US Congress. If God willings, I would try to pass it also in Washington. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.